I'm in a Windows 2019 server and I'm going to show you how to install a role service. Now a role service is not the same as a server role. For some reason Microsoft created this very confusing option here that I'm going to show you and explain to you. First off you need to make sure Windows Server Manager is up and running. If you don't see it then click on the start button that you see in the lower left hand corner and choose Server Manager. Once that's done we can click on Add Roles and Features and the wizard pops up and click next and since we're adding a role service it's part of the server role so we're going to continue with this top option the second option remote desktop services is if you're installing the remote desktop services role which we're not doing at this time although I do have a video on that in the playlist now we can see select a server from the server pool and we only have the one server so if someone previously created a server pool you'll see a list of different servers here but in my case we do not now we can see the server roles and a server role is different from a feature in that a server role generally affects a lot of users so for instance if you install Active Directory then it affects everybody logging into our servers so it not only affects this particular server but other member servers that are members of the Active Directory domain Features generally just affect the individual server itself and not a lot of other people connecting into it. And they tend to be smaller as well. They don't require reboots or a lot of configuration. So now that we're in server roles, we want to add in role services. So what are role services? Well, role services are represented underneath each of these server roles that have a caret next to them. So I'm going to use the web server because it generally has the most amount of role services. You can see there's 43 total. So I'm going to expand web server, which is a server role, and underneath we see role services. So all of these different things are role services. All 43 of them are role services. And you can see they're all subcategories of the web server IIS, Internet Information Services. So if we select any of these role services, I'll select the custom logging for instance, then we're just going to be adding in to a server role that's already been added earlier. So I'm going to click next and I'm going to skip past features and I'm going to go to installation. Now sometimes when you install a server role with a bunch of role services, you'll also get the option to install those role services as soon as you get to this particular point of the installation. So I'll show you what that is in a second. And this role service was installed correctly, so everything's good. I'm going to go back into my wizard and get right back to server roles. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the remote access option, and I'm going to select it. And we're going to click Next, and Next, Next again. And here we have Role Services. So we can even see it's even called Role Services here. So instead of just showing up by expanding the caret, if you install a server role that has Role Services built in, then you're going to see these options during the installation. So for instance, I'll go ahead and check the box for Direct Access and VPN, and we see it also is going to add in some features as well. So we don't even have to know what features need to be added to make this work. It will just do it automatically. If I wanted to, I could also select the other two role services as well, but I'll just do just this one and click Install. Role services can be added after the server role has been installed or while the server role is being installed. It just shows up a little bit differently for you depending on which order you do it. And we can see our server role and role service underneath it has installed properly. So that is how and why you would want to install a role service in Windows Server 2019, 16, and 2012.